let's take an example to understand how to size the grease interceptors. Okay. So here in the example, determine the size of a grease interceptor connected to a triple compartment pot sink. So pot sink is generally used in the kitchens, commercial kitchens. Each sink is 12 by 12 by 15 inches. The dimensions of the pot sink, the three compartment sink, for, for one pot sink it is given. That is 12 by 12 by 15. We have to size the grease interceptor. Size means you have to identify what is the grease retention capacity of this grease interceptor. Okay. So I'll explain you this uh, sizing with the help of three steps, which are very simple. Is step one. Calculate the capacity of a sink in GPM. Okay, so capacity of sink means the volume of sink. So we know the dimensions, length, breadth, and height. Okay, so if you multiply 12 by 12 by 15, you'll get 2160 cubic inches, but it is asking in GPM. So just divide the value by 231. 231 to convert into GPM. You'll get 9.35 GPM. So 9.35 GPM is the volume of one sink. Okay, the floor and the capacity of one sink. So it's a triple compartment pot sink. So I'll multiply with the three, you'll get 28.05 capacity of this triple compartment sink. Okay, this is the step one. Step two, calculate the adjusted flow rate of the sink. What is this adjusted flow rate? See what we have calculated in the previous step was the capacity of a complete sink. But in actual case, in this sink, there will be some utensils. It will not be completely filled from the up to the top. There will be there will be utensils inside these sinks. So what I'll do, I'll consider 75% of the total volume, not the 100%. Okay, so that is called as an adjusted flow rate. So whatever we are getting, 28.5 is the total. I'll take 75% of that. 25% will be volume consumed by the utensils or it will not be folded up to the top. I'll take 75%. We'll get 21 GPM. 21 GPM is the capacity that is the inflow. That is the flow going to the grease interceptor. Okay. Step three is very simple. Just use this table. You have the incoming flow rate and you will determine the grease retention capacity. So we got 21 GPM. So 21 GPM is lie somewhere 20. Okay, 21. So for 20, I'll take 20. It is showing me 40, 40 pounds. So for 21 GPM incoming flow rate, the grease interceptor size will be 40 pounds. So you, the grease retention capacity for the given example will be 40 pounds. So this is how Simply you have to size the crease interceptor with these three simple steps.